Hi, I'm Wayne Nagorka. I'm an instructor with the CFA and also a member of the Tanker Intercom Working Party. As firefighters, we know that efficient communications is a vital element of safe and efficient firefighting operations. This includes between the cabin and the deck crew. This video is designed to give an overview of the operation of the analogue system fitted to a majority of tankers in the CFA fleet and the newer digital system. This video supports the vehicle operations manual. Operations Bulletin 8 of 2019, Tanker Crew Intercom, which contains a procedure for testing your intercom, and also Safety First Alert number 58, Cabin Crew Communications. It is vital that if you believe your intercom is not working properly, that you contact your district mechanical officer through your normal channels. The interior components of the intercom consist of the main control unit and the internal microphone. The location of the internal microphone is set for the driver, not the crew leader, to communicate with crews on the deck. The layout of the external components of the intercom differ between vehicles fitted with the seated ROPS and those that don't, but the operation is the same. The setup and operation of the intercom is via the interior controls only. Prior to commencing pump and roll firefighting operations, or travel to the fire ground with crews seated in the ROPS. The crew leader must ensure that the intercom is turned on for both internal and external controls and set to a suitable volume. Midway is a suggested starting point. The intercom auxiliary switch must be set to the intercom position, otherwise the system will not work. Also, test the tone button. When on the deck, to communicate with the driver, Pick up the microphone and activate the microphone button and convey your message. Yeah, can you just turn it up a fraction, mate? Release the button to hear the reply. How's that better? Lovely, mate. Loud and clear, thank you. Just as you would with a normal radio. The digital intercom system also has an interior and exterior unit but is operated differently. One very important feature of the new digital intercom is that it automatically turns off when the truck is turned off and needs to be restarted each time the truck is turned on. Turn the unit on by pressing the power button and adjust the volume control. This controls the interior volume from the rear deck. The call button activates a tone in the external speaker and also activates an indicator light on the external unit to attract the attention of the deck crew. The interior unit contains an internal microphone, so speak slowly and clearly. Some early units also had a boom microphone. Can you hear me, Ron? Like the analog system, this microphone is always on, so make sure that your message to the deck crew is clear. The auxiliary button has no function except to switch between the internal microphone and the boom microphone where fitted. The power indicator light will come on when the unit is powered up from the internal unit. Adjust the volume for the external unit as required. The push to talk on the microphone must be pressed to activate the intercom and release to receive a message. Speak slowly and clearly. This microphone is also a speaker microphone, similar to our current portable radios, and can be used to assist with communications in high noise environments. Additionally, some tankers are fitted with a magenta flashing light to attract the attention of the deck crew. This light is activated via a switch on the console. So in summary, prior to commencing any pump and roll operations, such as in grass firefighting, the crew leader is to make sure the intercom is tested and operational. With the analog system, the interior unit controls the volume for both the interior and exterior. With the digital system, it needs to be restarted every time the truck is started. With both systems, the internal microphone is always live and picks up all conversations and radio traffic, so make sure any message for the deck is clearly identified for them. Consider using the tone button and where fitted the magenta light. In an entrapment scenario, with crew on the deck, 
Make sure the intercom is working and communications is established as a priority. And finally, if you believe that your intercom is not working properly, contact your district mechanical officer through normal channels. Thank you.